We're continuing some of the advanced topics in the security and enterprise area. Now switching over to talking about AI. And we have a, can you introduce yourself and kind of tell us what your company is doing in this area? So hello, my name is Akli Ajute, and uh, the company is Brayterian. And what we do is what we call mission critical AI. So can you, so mission critical layout sounds like it's either for industrial automation where it can't fail or it's for high value continuous time like financial access control and other things. Which kind of area are you addressing or both? You said it better than me. It's actually both. Okay. Yeah, we, so it's exactly what you said. Mission critical means uh, something that needs to be scalable, resilient and where you cannot be out of system. So, like we manage over 75 billion transactions in uh, fraud, like uh, our system when it comes to risk, but also in cybersecurity. So, it's exactly the way you said it. It's what we call as mission critical, is something that needs to be live 24 by 7, 365. So, this is from the financial side, things like credit card transaction, bank to bank transfer, people who are doing electronic transfer from their phone because this is no longer an eight to five business. It's a 24 seven global business and it also has to cross boundaries. Absolutely, you have to, as you said, today the way people do payments is, you know, you can use your phone. Pretty much people don't even go to the bank anymore because everything you can do it online. It's again what you just said is allowing people to have more flexibility uh, being in the 21st century, allowing people to do the banking from their home, from their phone. For that you need a system that's secure and also provide the best service because you don't need a system that declines customers or stop them. So a system that provides value with less frictions. So in that respect, historically these uh, mission critical systems were based on sociological rules that said this is how people behave, this is how they do things. But now that there's 24 hour connectivity in all of this interface, I don't think a lot of those behavioral habits are defined. Is that why the AI system is there to kind of learn how people are doing these things and determine what's normal versus what's bad? Now I understand that you are an AI, uh, so you understand that. I think that's probably the core of our business. So, uh, as you said, like I have a wife and two kids. Everyone in my family has a different behavior. So, you can't even write rules that manages my family because I have two college students, my wife, and as you said, see how many thousands of people are here, everyone has its own behavior. So you can't have a set of rules that would take care of everyone. So we are at the time of personalization, which means that everyone has to be different. And this is why you have to have an AI that learns the behavior of people to be able to understand them. So personalization will allow you to provide the best service while protecting your customers, because everyone is different. This is good for just not payment, even for cybersecurity. The way you use your computer, the way you use the system, the way you access a file, it's specific to what you do, what you're supposed to do. It's the same thing with the payment. So, absolutely, you're 100% correct. What we do is provide something that's adaptive that learns in real time. So, this is a supplement, just like people are talking about facial recognition and biometrics, to do positive trust of identity for what's going through. You can now do it on behavior for the application and the way that they're going through with this personalization and use that as a portion of that credibility check. Is that correct? Yeah, there's a little bit, uh, you're correct, but there is a difference in a way that when you do a face, like what we call a pattern matching of facial recognition, uh, let's say you use deep learning to learn something, you are actually not learning. The only thing you are doing is learn, uh, looking for forms. For example, if you want to learn letter H, you just look for the circles. But you, there's no learning there, it's just the forms. You know, if, uh, you know that. 
But what we do is way completely different. Here we are learning real behavior. So in the payment, we learn from every activity you do. Whatever you are doing, we become like, it's a real, real-time learning. It's self-learning and adaptive. So in one way, yes, but the technology we use is way more sophisticated than that because we are not just looking for forms or patterns. We, as you said, learn behaviors. We require intelligence. It's like, you know, a psychologist that learns personalities. An AI that learns behavior, it's pretty much learning your way, who you are, how you spend, how you behave. And that's not just forms. It's time, it's behavioral, it's related to everything you do. So, is your solution a software solution or a hardware solution or a combination? Because companies like NVIDIA are offering artificial intelligence compute boxes and AMD has some things going through. So is yours a specialized hardware box to do this or is it software that runs in their enterprise? No, we do AI and, and our AI is not, we don't sell hardware because our technology works with any hardware. So it's, uh, it's a technology that's pretty much independent hardware. You can use it in Linux box, you can use it in any type of machine. We even have a system that works on Windows. So we are purely an AI company.